Hello all, Shoestring here. It's finally happened. My last component of my 10,000 watt solar system I wanted to create has arrived. And we're about to unbox it. It is a Power Queen 12 volt, 200 amp solar battery. Lithium. I have been working actually literally for years Ooh, bolts here. That's an important thing to know. Bolts right there. To build the system that will run my entire house when the power goes. And do it for several days. And it's been quite a journey. Quite a journey. And since we're doing this on a shoestring, we had to buy this these components piece by piece, slowly, over literal literal years. And this is the last, last part, is this battery right here. Okay, okay now that it's out, the uh, bolts came. We'll go ahead and put those in. It came with some extra ones, extra set, plus the caps. When I take this over to the system, which I'm about to show you, I'm going to set it up as the manual says right here. It's going to be set connected in parallel. And I do now have four of these 12.8 uh, 200 amp hour batteries that, of course, turned into 400 when I do them in parallel. So let's see what state of charge it came in. We're going to hook it up to the multimeter. Positive and negative. See right there it says 13, oh, 28, 27, about what I expected. And of course we're going to charge it all the way up before we put it into our system. Okay, we're back in my battery room. As you can see I have my three 200 amp hour lithium batteries here. They're all 12 volt. And I've just brought in the last one, which I'm about to charge. But first, I charged each one of these batteries individually. Now I'm charging them as a group and get them all balanced. Then I'm going to charge that the last battery we just opened. And we're going to take it and put it into the bank. And my system will be complete. I started this route, this trip, in 2012 when I got my first solar panels put on the roof and my very first charge controller right there, the Morning Star, TriStar. It was a very nice one, but it was not an MPPT and I wanted one. I wanted to, uh, and my batteries, by the way, were all wet lead acid. Now I've upgraded everything except the inverter. I have a Renergy right there. It's 60 amp. All this I got slowly. And yeah, 60 amp and this is MPPT. One piece at a time. Had to buy all the cables. Though a lot of them I've made. Move this one right here. You can see that is a made cable right there. Well, I didn't make the cable, okay? I made the connection. Each of these I saved for a long time till I could afford the lithium battery I wanted and the system that I wanted. In the end, I'm going to have a 10,000 watt system that will run my entire house when the power goes down. I have these two gauge wires that go from my inverter to, of course, the batteries. The inverter goes from the box right there to a cutoff right there. For safety reasons, an automatic switch. So when the power goes out in the house, this automatically comes on. Very cool. 
Also, when I bought the Renology on sale, they sent me this little communication device. I'll show you right here. Little communication device. So from inside the house, I could actually use my phone and see how much power my battery has and how the inverter is doing. Very cool. So this is the end result of my journey. What I may do at the end is maybe upgrade the inverter, but that's a long way from now. I would like to have a pure sine wave, but they are extremely expensive. And I'm not sure it's going to do that much better. This still runs my fans, my freezer, my refrigerator. Runs a small air conditioner. It runs actually everything I need without a problem. It's true the fans make a small sound. Yeah, little humming sound. Some of the items do. But this is 8000 8, And it runs pretty much, well, it does run everything in the house I have it hooked to. The purpose of this video is, one, to show you the end of the journey. I'm going to hook that battery up here shortly. And two, just to stress, no matter how little money you have, and I have had very little money, you can do this. Put a little away. Figure out what you want first. Create your plan. And then, one little piece at a time, start buying it. Don't worry about new technologies that come out. Oh, this battery is going to be better than those batteries. Once you pick what you want to do and how you want to do it, stick with it. And you can do this the same way as I do this. I do this one step at a time and finally got where I wanted to be. So when the power goes out, my family will have water, electricity, and they will be fine. I'll still do smaller projects, and I'll show you those as I do them. If you have any suggestions, anything you would like to see, let me know. And if I have the capability, I'll be more than happy to do it for you. Other than that, please like, subscribe, and share this if you think anyone needs a little motivational talk and proof. If you go slow and take your time, you can do this no matter what your budget is. And shoestring out.